What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing arguably one of the best teams for the Master Tier in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But like I just mentioned, we're using a team that I think is very, very strong and I feel like you guys can use to push the rank ladder. So we're showcasing some high meta, high gameplay today. We got Iron Hands to get us started here with today's team preview. Iron Hands, arguably one of the best Paradox Pokemon in the game with Quirk Drive and the Salt Vest, Rock and Thunder Punch, Brick Break to Break Screens, Fake Out, and Bolt Switch. We got Roar Moon, which is a Paradox Pokemon I haven't used in a good bit, but still, everybody knows this thing's physical attack is through the roof. It has Protosynthesis alongside the Booster Energy, Acrobatics, Throat Chop, Tailwind, and Protect. Arcanine is going to be our third Pokemon, and I'm seeing more and more of Arcanine on the rank ladder, considering it is just that good. Arcanine has always been that guy, super, super strong, great for special attack drops and physical attack drops. You just can't go wrong with it. It has Intimidate, Safety Goggles, Flare Blitz, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect. Iron Bundle is going to be our fourth Pokemon. This Iron Bundle is built a little bit different than normal Iron Bundles. This one has Quirk Drive with the Citrus Berry, then Rock and Freeze Dry, Chilling Water, which is Stab, and it hands out a uh, physical attack drop, and then it has Encore and Protect. Amoogus is going to be our fifth Pokemon, lovely support Pokemon for his team, and is going to work wonders in Trick Room, considering it has the Room Service as its item. It also has Regenerator as its ability, and then Rock and a normal move set of Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our heavy special attacker. It is going to be the one and only Fluttermane. Protosynthesis, Life for a Bad Side Item, Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, Terror Blast, which actually changes to Ground. This is a Ground Terra Fluttermane, and then it has Protect as its last move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this amazing team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Dantozo and Tatsugiri team. Definitely going to be a problem for us. They also have Fluttermane, War Moon, Amoogus, and Golden Go. How should I get after this one? How should I lead it? I feel like they're going to definitely lead the Fluttermane, so maybe I should go into a Pokemon that can really get some work done on it. And I kind of like Arcanine here. I definitely like Arcanine. I do like Fluttermane of my own. I also like my Deli Deli Bird. I feel like we have a lot of different options we can go into. But I feel like Arcanine is just a solid lead for us. I got to bring in stuff to kind of counter the Dantozo, so I'm kind of leaning towards the iron hands here also deli bird does, does work but i'm gonna go arcanine i am going to also go i could go roar moon i mean roar moon's not bad especially what's your terror type flying straight flying is not bad i don't mind straight flying i really don't i could throw size easy with that and just start ripping but i do like arcanine for the lead i definitely like arcanine for the lead hmm i think i'm gonna go roar moon iron hands and then lovely little old fluttermane right cannot go wrong with fluttermane I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But Don Dozo and Tatsugiri just seems like a problem for this, this team, right? But I feel like there, there's been more and more ways to kind of counter Don Dozo and Tatsugiri than just like Clear Smogin or Hazen, which we do not have any of them. We can ultimately attack drop. We have some good Pokemon that have, can still do big damage through the defense bulks. I like it a lot. I definitely like it a lot. But we'll see who he wants to bring. Hopefully he just ends up not bringing it. And we just end up dominating this first match. We shall see. We shall see. But I do have War Moon. I haven't used War Moon in a while. Love this Pokemon though. I think it's such a cool design. But we're gonna end up seeing the lead of Dondozo and Flutz. So Dondozo and Fluttermane come out here. We do get off a lovely Intimidate. That's actually big time for us. And ch -ch 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 -ch. I definitely have to try size of War Moon. I mean, I'm gonna boost your energy up here for my attack, or is it speed? Let's see. It's gonna be my attack. So my physical attack set's gonna be boosted. Uh, ch could go for a Snarl here. I really want to go for a Will-O-Wisp. I really do want to go for a Will-O-Wisp. If I can land a Will-O-Wisp onto this thing, I'll really like that. So I'm going to Will-O-Wisp that, and I think I'm just going to Terra into Flying. I could Acrobats here. And I really want to go into this slot, because I feel like he's just going to protect, right? I feel like he just has to protect, so I'm just going to go into this slot. I doubt he swaps here. Now, those are is just a lot of mind games, right? It's just a lot of mind games. So I do feel as he's he is going to protect the Dondozo instead of swapping the Fluttermane. But I mean, it's all good if he does, right? If he does swap, it's all good. It's not really too big of a deal. But what they should do for Dondozo is they should make it, like, say he swaps in the Fluttermane and the Dondozo or in the Tatsugiri hops into uh, Dondozo's mouth. Any moves that are going into that slot should slide over. He shouldn't get a dodge, right? He should not get a dodge. It should just slide over. 
But we're going into the Terrasalization here. Let's see what our opponent wants to go into. A nice lovely Moon Blast into that slot. Still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Showing that it's orbed. Acrobatics is also going to fire. And we have a chance to KO him, which could be big time for us. Do we KO? We do. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So big time KO from us. Hopefully he's not double downing into my uh, War Moon. I got Will-O-Wisp coming. So Will-O-Wisp puts the burn onto that thing. Um, I'm kind of hoping he just goes for a wave crash into my Arcanine. And no, he's just going to wave crash my Roar Moon. So he's going to double down on my Roar Moon. And I'm able to soak. We like that. We like that. Big time burns from us. Big time plays. So that's a that's a hot start from us. We get rid of Fluttermane. They still do have Terra. But ultimately, right now, Roar Moon is fast as Pokemon on the field. Which is big time. So as long as he doesn't go into Tatsugiri, I think we should be fine. Or does he have another Pokemon that's faster than us? Is it Moongus, Golden Go? Is it Iron Hands? I don't, I don't know if he had Iron Hands. Let's see. Let's just see who he goes into. It's going to be War Moon. So right now, it's going to be close. What's your booster energy boost? And your attack, probably? Same as me? Speed. Never mind. He's fast on the field. So he can definitely take me out. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to protect. And I'm just going to protect. I'm going to try to burn this thing. I'm going to try to get that set up. Because, dude, Arcanine is the real deal. Like, Arcanine, every single game that I've played, it has been insanely amazing. Even in Sword and Shield, when the first se seasons came out, this thing was amazing Dynamax. It had a great move set. It had a fairy move. It also had a uh, beat-up Justified combo. It was great every single way. It really was. But I'm going to end up protecting that thing because Four Moon is definitely coming after me. And he just goes for a little breaking swiper. So he's going to go for the attack drop. That's totally fine. If I can just get off, if I can land this burn, that is going to be so big. Come on, Arcanine. I'm talking highly of you right now. My dog. My dog landed a big time burn here. Hopefully no Lumberries coming out here. Actually, it was booster energy, so no Lumberries here. And we get off two burns on two big time physical attackers. You really doubled down into my... Okay, that's fine. You really want to double down into me here. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind if we can. This Tailwind would be amazing. But the burns are just flying. The burns are just chipping. So we got two big time burns. Uh... We have two great Pokemon in the back, and they still do have Terra, which kind of sucks for me. But I feel like from here, we're just going to... I don't even know. Snarl? Snarl, I guess? <laughs> just chip up some damage, I guess? But I'll go into a Snarl, and I'm going to go for the Tailwind. Like I said, I want the speed. Hopefully, we can get it. Let's see if we can eat this break and swipe up. We do. So we are going to get the Tailwind speed. Oh, yeah. Yo, Willow, Will or, yo Arcanine's MVP in it right now. Allowing my War Moon to soak up shots here. So now we get off this lovely little tailwind. Snarl's gonna come out of here, do like three damage. And then Wave Crash is gonna come in here and probably go after my War Moon here, correct? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, he's gonna take out my War Moon. Which is totally fine. I'd rather my War Moon die out than uh, my Arcanine at this point. Right now, Arcanine's just chilling. I'm thinking of just swapping my Arcanine. I really am. Intimidate could come up big for us later. So, really cool damage comes out here. We could bring out the Floods here. And I think my best bet would be to bring out the Fluttermane. To bring out the Fluttermane. Do I swap the Arcanine? This is the real question. I feel like we gotta swap the Arcanine. I'm just gonna protect the Fluttermane. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he wants to Terrasalize or something. I'm gonna see if he wants to Terrasalize. Because a lot of Warm Moons have uh have Steel Terror. Steel or Flying Terra. And they didn't use their Terra, correct? No, they led Don Dozo alongside with uh, Fluttermane. They ended up not Terrasalizing, and we ended up just ripping into it. So I kind of like this protect play. Two burns on these guys. They're not going to do any crazy damage, but I'm, I was trying to feel, feel out our opponent. I definitely am, because, again, two very strong Pokemon. I'm not going to take it lightly, even with the burns on them. So I bring out my lovely little Iron Hands. We're getting juicy here, and he withdraws. So this was a like, solid protect from us. I feel like he might just wave crash into my, uh, into this slot right here, right? He might just wave crash into my Iron Hand slot. Just to hit up on who was supposed to be that Arcanine. Hmm. He's gonna get all the lovely boosts, all that good stuff, and he could definitely Terrasalize soon, but I don't know what he wants to do here. Hopefully he just goes after Fluttermane here. Wave crash my Fluttermane, please, and thank you. Wave crash my Fluttermane, please, thank you. And my Protect finally comes out. <laughs> it took so long. And he goes for a heavy slam at that slot. Okay. Good to know. 
Good to know. So solid little protect on us. We get out of free swap. We can fake out this turn. We can have burn chip up a little bit more damage as well. And ch -ch -ch. I mean, we might as well go for the fake out, right? Fake out into the moon blast. Or do we go for the shadow ball? And go for the drop. Nah, we're going for moon blast. We're going for damage. So obviously this Don Dozer protects, right? Obviously this Don Dozer protects, and I feel like from here, if you're going for heavy slam, I could just swap the flutter me. We don't need a Fluttermane. I mean, we have speed right now. Speed is still on our side due to that Tailwind. And I feel like this thing has to protect, right? Unless you're not rocking protect. You're going to end up terrestrializing. Into what? Into what typing are you terrestrializing into? That's the real question. Dragon? What are you terrestrializing into? Steel! It's a steely boy. It's a steely boy. The steely boy. Fake out going to chip up. But more importantly, get the flinch. Moonblast can come out here. This is a Steely Dondozo. We're still chipping up a little bit of damage. And then I feel like from here, instead of protecting, we just hard swap. We play it safe. We get off Intimidate. And that could be really good for us. And then we just straight up, like, brick brick that thing. We're, we're doing some nice damage here. How many turns left in Tailwind is your question? One. I mean, I feel like we KO, right? Obviously, I want to protect. I'm going to play this one smart. <clears throat> I'm just going to play this one smart. I'm going to swap an Arcanine here. Doing a little swap into Arcanine. Getting Intimidate out here again. Burn, Intimidate. Keep lowering this thing's attack, right? I'll play this one slow all day. I love... This is a great battle. I love a long, drawn-out battle like this, where we're swapping in and out. We're making some great plays. When I get off that, EQ... Oh! Oh, you're doing that. Good thing we Intimidate it, because we're still able to soak really, really well here. Brick break on a fly out here. Do some big time damage. And then from here, I mean, you're out speeding us. I'm just going to protect the Arcanine. I'll save it for later. I'll save the Arky. I'll save the Arky. So I'm just going to brick break for the KO. And then I'm just going to protect. This thing could have rest, right? It could be a resty boy. It could definitely be a resty boy. A resty Dondozo. Goes for a Fisher. Oh! Oh, whoa, out of nowhere, from the top ropes, this thing goes for a one-hit KO move. If that would have landed, that would have been wild. Not expected that. Yo, yo, from the top ropes, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, this thing was just like, I'm going to try to land a Fisher. I like I like, the, I like the moxie on that. I like the moxie. That is sick. So he ends up going into the moon ski. Uh, you don't have Terrasalize anymore, which is big time for us, and I feel like we just go here. And we just start snarling down. A little bit of brick break in the snarl. Muddy water gonna fly here. That's going to KO my Arcanine, no problem. Um, Acrobat's gonna come in here. Wow, we're actually sitting not as good as I thought we were. Can you eat up this Acrobat? Oh, it's just gonna be a break and swipe. So you're gonna lower my physical attack. How much damage are you gonna do with, with, with this brick break, my guy? Brick break coming in hot here. Wow, that's some big time damage. Uh, I can ultimately just protect Fluttermane and have the burn KO. That's probably the play, right? Protect Fluttermane, have the burn KO, because we're looking for the win. We're not, we're not playing around here. We're not, we're not looking to lose here. I mean, he doesn't have the speed anymore, which is huge. But yeah, ultimate play is going to be uh, Thunder Punch this thing, have Burn take out the uh, the Warm Moon, and then Fluttermane can easily one on one this Tatsugiri. I like this match, yo. Solid match, solid match all around here. You can't protect the Warm Moon. Like if he protects the Warm Moon, that's just a free KO. Because again, Burn just gonna take it out. Uh, I don't see him taking out any of my Pokemon here. I think Warm Moon goes after Fluttermane. And he, again, even if even if he takes out my uh, Dondozo. Oh, uh, okay. Not my Dondozo. My, uh, my Iron Hands, we win this match. But yeah, he ends up ultimately going for my Fluttermane. Burn's going to take that out. We're going to hit this thing with Thunder Punch. Take off Focus Ash if it has it. And now it is wraps. It is absolute wraps. Get on out of here, Warm Moon. That was a really good match to get a start here. Now just legit Moon Blast down to that slot. Take it out, no problem. And it's game, set, match. And we'll just keep Thunder Punching, I guess. But there you go, Tatsugiri. This Moon Blast for you. You can go for a Muddy Water. Try to lower our Axie. This is, this is a shot here, but I, it's far-fetched. Yep, Moon Blast still lands. Later, Gummy. Later, yo. What a first match. I know I said that a couple times. That was just solid all around. We end up coming out on top. Let's hop for a second. Look to go back to back. Your boy started off hot. We're starting hot. We're 1-0. Oh. We're hopping into our second match. Going up against a crazy cool rain team. Swift Swim Barracuda. 
They also got my boy Paloops. Miss you, dog. I love using that Pokemon. Then they got Storm Drain Gastrodon, uh, Serena over here, and then Sandy Shocks and Fluttermane. Deli Birds, definitely going to be really solid with its freeze dries, all that good stuff. So I am going to want to bring that Pokemon. And I'm going to lead. I'm going to end up leading that Pokemon ultimately. And I could also bring Iron Hands here. But I could also not, right? I mean, I feel like we have a lot of different options. I'm kind of leaning towards a nice, lovely little Warm Moon here. Maybe trying to get off Tailwind. Maybe trying to get ripping with that. But I am scared of that Sandy Shocks, right? Sandy Shocks seems to be a problem. It can definitely do a lot of work. It can get off some big time damage. I'm not really liking it. I'm not really liking it. But I do like Deli Bird here. And I think I'm just still going to lead this Pokemon. Do I still lead you? How fast are you? 155. You're rather slow, to be honest. I kind of like you here. But, dude, Sandy Shock's a problem. It is just a problem. I could bring Amoongus for a bit of more support here. And I kind of like that. You know what? I am going to go Amoongus here. Bring Roar Moon. And then last but not least, let's go Fluttermane here. I think Fluttermane just works wonders. I really do not want the, uh, the Iron Hands here, considering they have a few ground-type Pokemon. They can really level into me. And then they also have the Fluttermane to do work on that. I think this match is going to be rather hard for us. I feel like the Reigns just might just overpower us. But we're going to try. We are definitely going to try here. Let's see. Let's see who our opponent leads here. It's going to be Barrascuda and a lovely shiny Paloops. A little green action on him. I dig it. I can definitely dig it. Okay, so, I mean, Hurricane's obviously an option here. Freeze Dry is a great option for us. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Huh. What's my play here? I could Terrasize into Ghost. I could definitely get Ghost here. We do have a Citrus Berry, so I'm just going to Freeze Dry here. And I might try to spoil the Pelipper. I could Terrasize in Water. I'm thinking of just Terrasize and Moongus, right? Seems like the play. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride my my support Amoongus. I'm gonna terrestrialize my Amoongus. He's probably like, oh, terrestrialize and Deli Bird. Nah, son. Support terrestrialize. Eat me. Eat me, dog. Because I know you're going into a hurricane in that slot. And I want to keep this uh this lovely little mushroom alive. I do want to keep this mushroom alive. The bear scooter ends up protecting. That's fine. Helper's probably going for a hurricane, right? Free sure is gonna get blocked. Am I going to go from there? Oh, you're going to Tailwind. That's a little scary. Okay. So you get off Tailwind. And we're just going to put this thing to sleep. I'm not playing around with you, Pelper. Okay. So from here, what I'm thinking of... That thing outspeeds me. I was going to go for an Encore into that thing. But, uh... I could start getting rid of Pelper. Or or going after Barrascuta might be your best bet. But who could you swap into to kind of dodge this move? That's a real question. Let's see what Pokemon they have. Um, really no one. I feel like it's just a free a free free strike here, unless he terrestrializes. I'm just gonna do this and might as well just rage powder slot, right? Might as well rage powder this one. They're gonna end up seeing terrestrialize, and what terror type are you going into? That's the real question. What is your terror? It's grass, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I mean, if you go for a Terror Blast, that's fine. You can go straight into my Amoongus. Oh, no. It actually dodges that now. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. That's going to KO me. Well, if you're, who are you going after? It's a real question. You going after my Amoongus still? You are. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, because now that it was Grass, the effects of Rage Powder did not affect that Pokemon. So it could have went freely after my Deli Deli Bird. But you KO my Amoongus. I think I KO your... Your bear scoot here, right? And we have sleep on the Pelipper. If I get one more turn out of sleep, that'll be a winning turn from us. Yep, we do KO. And we waste Terra. Woo! I'll take that. I'll take that, Amoongus. We wasted our Terra, too, but it was pretty much a, a full waste of it, but it's all good. We didn't really get any value out of our Terra, whereas they did. Uh, I feel like from here, War Moon is to play, right? So I can set up Tailwind and match their energy, match their speed, and go from there. And Gashon does come out here. So Gastro comes out here. Uh, again, we can just slowly freeze dry. I'm going to help hope that Pelper's going to be uh, asleep another turn. If I boost energy to boost my attack, I'm still going to go for this. Uh, I'm still going to go for this tail because I, I do feel like Pelper is going to lose another turn. And we're just going to freeze dry our slot. We're just going to keep freeze dry. Keep on freeze dry. We got rid of one main culprit of the rain combo. So, got to actually really the strongest one. Gastro protects. That's, that's totally fine by me. It's really fine by me. Pelper's still asleep. It's legit just a free turn for us. We set up a Tailwind. It was actually a perfect turn to actually set up Tailwind. So we end up doing that. Uh, hmm. 
I had acrobats. I could just stick with third chop, but I'm trying to think of what I should do next. Definitely want to freeze try to gas strong. 100%. 100% want to just keep the freeze try rolling. And then from here, third chop will do a little bit more. So I'm just going to third chop down the Pelper slot. <clears throat> Pelper might even be asleep another turn. Are we going to get a three turn sleep? I really don't want to, but free shots can come out here. One tap the gastro. Four times super effective. Get it on out of here. We are ripping. We are ripping. Throw chop flying through here. And we are dealing some big time damage. Pelper finally wakes up. And what are you going for? Hurricane time? Oh, you're surfing. You're going for a nice lovely surfing turf. Doing no damage, yo. I'm thriving right now. Their tailwind's gone. My tailwind's up. I'm playing so good. I'm playing so good right now. Serene's gonna come out here. Woo! Got no terror. We got acrobats. We got freeze dry. Woo! What's gonna do more damage? Freeze dry wood, right? 70 stab. I just wanna see. I just wanna see. 70 stab. What's your special attack here? 165. Your physical attack is so high, but it's not stab. It's not stab. And you know what? My boy's been hitting hard. I'm gonna pop a freeze dry in that slot. And I'm just gonna pop another throat drop. And that should be game set match. I think they just canceled battle, right? Yep, there it is. Battle was canceled. I'm killing it right now. Top two or third. Look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. And we got a true test on our hands. Armourouge and DD combo. My most hated combo to go up against. Alongside with Torkoal. They got uh, Trick Room with the Hatterene. Then they got King Gambo. And last but not least, they got the Annihilate. So again, a very tough team that we're going up against. Uh, Amoongus is an absolute must to bring here. Absolute must. Who else should I bring in here? Because again, Trick Room is just a problem. It is just a problem. I could actually go Snarl Arcanine, which I really, really like here. So I'm, I'm going to lead to Snarl Arcanine. I am going to also go into... Do I go into Amoongus here? I could go Delibird and Encore the, the Trick Room user. That is a solid option. Definitely a solid option. But I feel like... I feel like Torkoal's a problem. We do have a Moongus who, who can outspeed after the room server, so I do like that. But who else should I lead here? I mean, Encore is really solid for us. But I don't know. I feel like they would just go for follow me at that point, right? But I could go Roar Moon. I'm going to end up going Moon. I'm going to go Moon. I'm going to go Arcanine. I am going to bring a Moongus. And last but not least, if they're going to pop Trick Room, I need to slow Iron Hands with that Soul Fest. Really could definitely help us out. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record because, dude, I'm feeling good today. Like I said, this team is insanely strong. It's really strong. Pretty easy to use if you've been using, like, Pokemon, like, that are on this team, which a lot of teams have these Pokemon. So it's fairly easy to learn. You kind of just hop in there and you do your thing. Because, <laughs> again, a lot, a lot of the Pokemon you kind of already know how to use. Let's see. Indeedee and Hatterene are going to come out. It's just a free Snarl turn. And on top of that, uh, I get a free, uh, free little Throat Trap here. I wonder who is going to pop the trick. That's a real question. It is the real question. Psychic Surge, pop it out here. I could Terrasalize the War Moon, but I really don't want to. I really, I just don't want to. Maybe I'll do it next turn. Because if I had to guess what's going on here, a Follow Me Trick Room's going to come out here. But now with Ndidi being able to learn Trick Room in this game, they can ultimately just protect Hatterene and just Trick Room with the Ndidi. Right? <laughs> it's definitely an option. But I'm just going to play this one simple. I'm just going to go for a normal Snarl. And I'm going to say Ndidi's the... Uh, actually, or do we just dump on Ndidi? I was going to say, I, I, I'm going to say Hatterene's the culprit here pop a trick room but you never know i don't even think we ko it i'm just gonna take out indeedy let's see what ends up happening here we're gonna end up seeing a terrestrialization here from who hatterene hatterene's probably the culprit here to oh no indeedy oh smart play oh little grassy action little grass action so indeedy gets the terror here i think indeedy's the one pop a trick room correct An absolute must i know it's gonna be the follow me one so it pops a lovely little follow me. Wants to be able to soak this dark shot, which it will now. Go chop's gonna fly. Chip up some nice damage. Snarl's gonna bounce out here. We'll get that special attack drop. We'll go from there. So I could end up terrestrializing this turn if I want to. Kinda want to. Kinda don't. Huh. I mean, I could just do this. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect and snarl again. I'm just gonna waste out turns. Might as well waste out as many trick room turns as we can, right? Might as well. Might as well play this one a little bit slower. Slow things down a little bit. The gleam comes out here. Now I can terrestrialize if I want to. It's free. Well, I actually don't think I am. This thing's gonna be minus two. I feel like we can still soak up a shot. Actually, I mean, it's gonna be four times super effective, which does suck. 
I could swap. I could swap. I could. I could indeed swap into straight Amoongus. I could Snarl again. I feel like just a Flare Blitz for the KO. I really want a Terry. I want a Terra. I really want a Terra. I think I'm going to do it. I bite the bullet here? I think we just Terra, right? The thing is, Amoongus, or not Amoongus, uh... No, we gotta save our Terra. We have to save our Terra. I'm gonna save my Terra. I'm gonna hope that that minus two is enough to uh, have us eat up a eat up a shot. So the second gonna come in here. We are Dark type. What are you doing? Don't affect me. You don't affect me. Gleam's gonna fly from you, and we're gonna be able to soak that. Okay, so we're thriving here. This is we're, we're, we get, we're doing we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> Flare Blitz pops later. Indeed, you get on out my lobby, and Dark type's gonna slide over here. I'm telling y'all, we're wasting a lot of these tricky turns. And one of the reasons I didn't want to waste a, uh, my Terrasalization is because if Torkoal comes out of here, my Moogus just gets ripped into, right? I can always Terrasalize with the Moogus. Now I pick up a big time KO onto the Indeedee. Hatterene's low on HP. And Torkoal's gonna come out of here. So I feel like from here, it's just a Protect into a Snarl, but I still feel like we die, right? I still feel like we die. I still feel it's my Arcanine dies here because Eruptions can come out here. I mean, it it has no Terrasalization, so maybe we can eat this up. Maybe we can eat. We know the power of Eruption. We know it's still doing a heck of a amount of damage onto my, my Arcanine. Might even can, right? We eat. Can we eat up whatever other shot you have here? Can we eat up this Gleam Gleam? Arcanine, you can eat up this Gleam Gleam. I believe you can, right? Big time eat up. Yo, Arcanine's so good. Hatterene goes down to Life Orb, and more importantly, we're going to be able to snarl the uh, Torkoal without the Torkoal being able to swap now. So it's minus one. Ooh, your boy is cooking. We are cooking. Now I can allow these two Pokemon to go down. We can have Fake Out ready to go. Ooh, wait, the train's still out here. And then they have Gambo Gambo. So how many turns, again, is left in this? One. Oh, my lord. Oh, baby. It's GG. Game, set, match. See you later. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. We got this one all lock. Actually, it might not be locked, but we're doing pretty good with it. So he ends up going into eruption. We end up soaking. I have my. I just think we're. we're it's, it's over, right? No, actually, I don't know if it's over. We still have Terra. We do still have Terra. Actually, yeah, it's not over. I wouldn't say it's over just yet. Uh. Trick room's gone. We don't need to use our room service. The terrain's gone here as well. And I can just go into fake out onto Gambo and put the Torkoal to sleep, right? Right, put the Torkoal to sleep, fake out onto Gambo. Go from there. I'm with it. Spore you up. And we'll just roll off from there, because Gambo might even protect here, right? I mean, one Brick Break will just heal off on that thing. And then what I'm thinking of doing is finally use my Terrasalization onto my Moongus, just to keep it alive longer, you know? We have a Soul Vest onto our uh, Iron Hand, so that should be good as well. But Fake Out's just gonna pop here, a little bit of damage. Moongus should outspeed the Torkoal. And we should be able to just put this little t turtle to sleep, night, night. And now I Terrasalize. I probably should Terrasalize last turn just in case we didn't outspeed, but I mean, it works. <laughs> and our opponent quits, so... Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. 3-0 for today's video. Making our opponent quit in the last match. Let's get it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, ladies and gentlemen, this team is one of the best on the rank ladder at the moment. I think I showcased it to its fullest potential. We didn't really make one bad play in today's video, and I feel like we just played out of our minds. You got the Iron Hands, the Roaring Moon, the Iron Bundle, and Fluttermane for four top tier Paradise Pokemon. Then you got Arcanine and Amoongus, who are just crazy strong in the meta at the moment. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.